Now, Michael, this unofficial U.S. delegation is in Taiwan after that historic election victory by Lai Qingde, a candidate openly loathed by Beijing. And this is a move that could raise tensions. It could complicate efforts to stabilize U.S.-China relations. I want to show you this video of the delegation's meeting. It took place this morning with President like Lai along with his running mate. Um, and this unofficial delegation arrived on Sunday for some three days of meetings. Uh, Taiwan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs also released photographs, let's bring up the photos for you, showing an official welcoming the group, which includes the former Deputy Secretary of State James Steinberg, as well as the former National Security Advisor Stephen Hadley. Um, during a meeting that took place earlier today with the President Tsai Ing-wen, the two congratulated Taiwan on its electoral process, said that U.S.-Taiwan ties are rock solid. And I want you to listen to this from the Taiwan President. Your visit is of great significance, as it not only fully demonstrates the United States' support for Taiwan's democracy, but also highlights the close and solid partnership between Taiwan and the United States. Now, China had warned against any official contact and reiterated, quote, that Taiwan is an inalienable part of China. And U.S. officials have said that this visit is in line with a longstanding practice of sending over former U.S. officials to Taiwan after elections with the intention to emphasize the relationship between U.S. and Taiwan, as well as America's one China policy, which recognizes Beijing. Now, on Saturday, that was when Taiwan's ruling party, the DPP, pulled off that historic consecutive third presidential victory. And Lai Qingde says he would maintain the status quo, he would pursue peace through strength, that he is open to engagement with Beijing, but China has denounced him openly. And it appears, Michael, that Beijing is already exerting fresh diplomatic pressure. Uh, according to Reuters, Nauru has cut diplomatic ties with Taiwan, switching recognition to Beijing, and that would mean that Taiwan has only 12 remaining diplomatic allies. Back to you. Mm -hmm.